Hello everyone. In this lecture, you will learn how to create a WebView class for our WebView layout. Okay, so go to App Java under your package name. Go to the Activity directory and here Activity WebView is present. So we have to uh, make it WebView. Okay, so first of all, we have to convert uh, uh, to make it compatible with the binding so let's create a private uh, binding activity web view binding and let's say it binding okay and after the supper we have to in initialize it activity web view binding dot in select okay now now we have to set the content as a binding root okay call the binding dot get root it is fine now uh, we have to to define the callback uh, for our toolbar okay as you can see in the category game activity we have created two lines of toolbars uh, which is responsible to go back and uh, which is display the back arrow key okay so that you just when click on the back arrow icon then app will uh, the current activity will dismiss okay so just you have to copy this one and paste it after the set content okay and also copy the set on navigation up method copy this one and paste it after the on create okay now it has been done now we have to set a web view okay so let's call our web view which is present in the resources layout activity web view uh, our web view id is web view okay so let's call it binding dot web view now we have to make some settings like javascript okay so select set javascript enabled and make it true okay now fine after that uh, we have to set a dom storage also binding dot web view get settings dot set dom storage enabled true okay Fine. Now we have to load a our game URL after that. Uh, first of all, we for tracking purpose and testing purpose, we can check a static URL. Uh, let's for example, private string game URL, and suppose that it is our game URL. Okay. Fine. Suppose that it is our game URL. Okay. So now let's call uh, call it binding dot web view dot load URL and pass this string game URL. Okay, fine. Now it will load the URL automatically. This one, okay, Google.com. Suppose that it is a game URL, okay, not the Google. Okay. Now, as you can see, we also have a swipe refresh layout. So we have to use it to refresh the page. Okay. So let's do it after the loading the URL. Okay. So let's call it. So we call it with binding. Dot swipe. Refresh. Okay. Now we have to set a listener on it. So let's call uh, this one. Okay. Select this one. Now select a callback. New and then select this interface. First one press enter okay inside this on refresh let's uh, we have to create a handler basically handler which uh, handles the uh, loading url this one after some time okay so that you just know that uh, they are reloading the web, web view page okay so let's start it okay uh, first of all let's we have to set a refresh layout to true okay call binding dot swipe refresh layout set refreshing 
three one. Okay, fine now. Now take a new handler. Handler. This one. Okay. Now post delete and after this post delete take a method like this and call this one okay now we have to pass a time uh, time in milliseconds let's suppose for three seconds uh, uh, we have to multiply it by to 1000 so it will become 3000 okay so now inside this uh, method on handler we have to when you just starting to refresh the page it will start a refresh bar but we have to make it disable okay so let's make it false okay now after the false load the page url okay this one mm, this one okay now it is fine uh, you can also set the uh, swipe refresh colors okay as like uh, google's app okay so let's do it like this call the binding dot swipe refresh you have to set color schemes this one okay now inside this you have to pass the color resources value okay so uh, let's do it like this so call the resources color get get resources dot get color and pass the color from the android library you can access it using the android dot r dot color and simply select the colors as like this okay you can select anything for example let's say bright or yellow okay it has been done now put a comma and take a, another one okay just simply copy this one paste it out here again paste it here you can take many colors but four is enough okay so now let's change it to uh, orange not there is orange let's type hollow uh, let's uh, there is orange dark okay it is fine uh, now let's take a green uh, no, hollow green green dark okay and the last one take a red or any color as you wish okay it is totally up to you you can take any color red dark okay now it has been fine now we have to you can also set the download listener okay your own okay so i am not creating this part basically it is not our uh, part of this course okay so i am not uh, providing any callback or uh, web view client okay so that's why i'm using the simple one but uh, one thing is remaining that uh, it is that uh, we have to make a uh, when a users click on the back from the mobile or devices then should go back to the previous page then how we will do it we have to create a uh, on key down method okay uh, we can create it after here okay let's create it okay it is a, a boolean okay so a boolean on key down okay now we have to pass um, two parameters the first one is the key code okay key code basically represents which key you just have placed and the first event okay um, uh, let's uh, key code is the int type so let's key sorry key code okay now take a key event uh, name it event okay found okay now we have to check that user have pressed the back button or not 
and also we have to check uh, whether you have a back uh, previous page or not okay if have then we can call simply uh, binding dot web view go back okay so let's check it with the if else condition uh, call this uh, key code okay uh, let's call this first of all we have to create two parameters for checking so first part will take the key code okay inside this bracket and let's call the key code okay now we have to check key code we have to check it with the key event okay not the key code key event now we have to check key code back there is not available let me check uh, it will be capital letter okay key code and back like this okay yes now after that we have to also check if web view have a previous page or not okay so let's check it using the web view sorry small case and it is with binding okay so web view binding okay now check can go back okay if these two conditions are met then when uh, simply go back to the previous page okay so let's uh, call it binding dot web view dot go back okay fine now also return it true yes now it has been fine but uh, we have to return the key event okay so this part will come here and if it will not present means there is no back our previous url available then simply we will call the next next event okay so let's call it return super dot on key down this one and we have to pass key code and the second is the event okay it has been done now our web view is ready okay let's check it what is saying keep the cursor press alt plus enter key and press its warning okay now it is been done also you have to wrap it alt plus enter and convert it to lambda okay now it has been fine now there is no issue at all okay now when we, we run the app it will uh, open this web view page okay so this is our game url uh, this is we have check only for checking purpose okay later we will use the dynamic url of the games okay so do not worry uh, first of all we have to check this uh, it is working fine or not okay so let's after that if you are using a old version of android studio then you have to declare this activity web dot java class inside this manifest file okay in here as like this okay but in the newer version of android studio it is automatically present here okay you not need to uh, create activity here okay so it has been done but we have to create a intent for this activity inside our adapter class let's go to adapter and category game adapter okay uh, let's open it okay uh, we have to use this activity web view inside our four adapters category featured and most played and random games okay so first of all let's check featured games adapter okay and here you can see there is a set on click listener method so simply comment it out okay we will use this later okay for now just uh, we have to call this activity okay let's create a intent first of all uh, to open the activity let's call we have called first uh, our 
activity context now we can use the activity dot task activity this one okay now create a new intent this one okay now inside this intent first of all pass activity contract and uh, a class which we have to open so we have to open this activity web view so let's call it active web view dot class okay fine now when we hit any game it will not open the game in the external browser it will open this class or activity okay and this activity have this game url okay so it will open it google.com so now we have to check so let's connect the device device has been connected now let's click on the run now our device has been ready so let's run the app Now app is launching. Okay, app has been launched. Now we have to check featured game adapter. Okay, this one featured game section. Okay, so let's click on the first game. As you can see, activity has been opened. Okay, and activity has been opened successfully, and uh, it is showing empty okay but there is not any issue so first of all we have to check by refreshing it whether it is working yes refreshing a page layout is working fine okay but it's opening the page uh, after uh, in with in the external browser so we have to top it okay so let's top the app and uh, go back to the project uh, we can simply stop it by uh, using a custom web view client so let's uh, we have to create it here okay so let's call the binding dot web view get settings dot back uh, let me check whether that web view client and inside this create a new web view client new web view client okay now it has been fine so now let's check the app again okay it has been fine now let's click on the game now this time uh, url has been loaded in the web view now it is working fine so that's why now we have to load the game URL dynamically. Okay, this is a static URL. We have used it here. Okay, so we have to pass it dynamic URL so that uh, our game will uh, play in inside this web view. Okay, so let's start it. First of all, we have to go to the our featured games adapter. Okay, now remove this. Uh, intent now create a another intent uh, so that we can uh, send a extra parameter which is the game name and the game url okay so let's start it okay let's type sorry intent okay intent 
equal to new intent okay inside this intent pass actor with contact and our class name uh, which is basically our web view class this one okay fine now we have to send some parameters which is the game name and a game url okay so let's use the intent put extra let's name it game name okay and value to which feature game list dot get position dot get game name okay fine it has been done now also uh, let's send a another parameter just uh, copy this one no no okay uh, now this time we are sending a game url okay game url fine now let's create a uh, activity with this intent call first activity contact and now start activity now we have to pass this intent now it has been fine uh, let's remove this line we not need okay now inside our web view class we have to call this game name and game url parameter okay so let's check it go to the activity web view okay now inside this web view what we can do first of all we have to check that uh, is uh, they are not empty okay so first of all let's use the get intent method uh, where we can do this we have to do this before the loading game url okay so let's start from here okay let's call intent intent get intent okay fine now create a string because we, as you can see we are sending these two strings the first one game name second name is the game url okay so we have to create a string uh, let's string uh, game name okay now we have to call this intent get string extra now pass this string name okay here uh, also copy this one and this time we are using game url so replace the name also the value now it is been done now what we can do first of all we have to check whether our game url should not be empty because if it is in empty then web view can be crash or show some error okay so uh, let's check it um, if conditions okay so let's check this call this game url okay it's empty okay simply check is empty and now pass we have to check is not empty so pass a note notation here exclamation mark before the game url okay now we have to call this web view okay so let's check it uh, cut out it here and paste it out inside this if condition okay now let's make it uh, alt plus enter and uh, replace with object require not null okay now also why we need the game name we have to uh, use the game name to open the game url so that you just know which games is showing loading okay so simply what we can do we can simply uh, call this name in the toolbar so that you just can know which game is playing okay so let's uh, call it inside this method also, okay for setting the toolbar title you can simply call the set title okay now inside the set title you can pause 
this game name okay this one now it has been done okay now everything is done and uh, dynamic so if we click any game then url will open inside this game view okay so let's check it whether it is working or not so run the app okay app is launched now click on the first game activity is launch now as you can see our web view game url it also has been loaded okay okay now let's play the game maybe it is working or not let's check it yes it is working fine okay no issue at all okay also check this button yes it is also working fine okay no issue at all i hope you have understand now but we have to also set this method into our our all the adapters okay so let's start it Uh, simply what we can do go to the our feature game adapter and copy this okay and go to the uh, mouth player game adapter and replace this click listener with this one okay now this time this is the most played games list okay so replace also this okay now uh, other things same okay now go to the random game adapter also uh, you have to replace it with this one uh, this time the list is random game list okay uh, now it has been oh sorry this one okay now it is fine also go to the category game adapter uh, as you can see uh, we are opening a game url here so let's also add it okay now uh, this one list is the category game list okay now it is, has been fine but uh, also we have to uh, check these parameters into our respective fragments okay so let's do it uh, first of all let's copy this one basically this is the same because we are returning to this web view okay no need to add anything extra so i hope you have understand if you face any issue then you can simply contact me okay uh, so this lecture has been completed i will meet you in the next lecture